Hey gang, it's me, Ola, coming at you with the highly anticipated GoPro Hero 13. I certainly hope this wind muff works on this microphone. Now, it wasn't windy when I was fishing just a few hours ago, but look at it now. We have like hurricane force. Here we go. Here we go. Hero 13 Black. It's that time of year. Yes, it is. I better put this in my pocket. It'll blow away. It is time to upgrade the cameras. You know, every year I say, well, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it this year. And I wait for GoPro to make the release announcement. They come out with killer updates. So, you know, I have to upgrade. And this isn't a hardware update, much like last year's camera. Boy, oh boy. Demolishing my box. Now, I've already opened the other two. I got three of them. And love the cameras. Kind of glad they got away from the blue that used to be around the, the camera. It's identical, folks. Size-wise. Hardware-wise, it is identical to the Hero 12, which was identical to the Hero 11. So, but there are some physical... Look at that. Why do they put stickiness on there? There are some physical differences. This hand is almost useless. Yeah, that was entirely too sticky. Got to update the camera. You even get the warning. So it's going to need updated before you use it. One of the physical differences. See how big the, the front display screen stretches further down on the camera now. And the little GoPro logo is now part of the glass. But the back, exact same. Exact same. Same, same, everything except the glass here and look at that that my friends is a heat sink now I'm not going to turn it on out here so I had to come outside you get your standard USB cable you get a little curved buckle you get the screw of course you get a battery and you get a buckle this year's battery is new totally different than any other GoPro release they put the contacts on the side of the battery instead of the end boy I hope this is working because it's pretty windy so they did this so that when the battery is inside the camera the contacts are right there it goes in like this so your contacts this heat sink is basically taking the heat away from the battery charging and dissipating it out the front of the camera. I can't wait to see if that works. So we stick the battery in. Like I said, I won't boot it up because it's going to need updated before it can be used. And you have to log in and do your quick app on your phone. So there it is, guys. Now this, the camera itself, is not my main reason for upgrading. I'm going to keep this out. What I'm thrilled about are the new accessories. One in particular, and I'm sure other people that primarily use GoPro cameras for their main method of recording, you're going to love this accessory. It is called contacto contacto it is basically you take the, your, let's, let's take the door off we'll put contacto on so you remove your door which I always do anyway and I have a pass through it's basically a door with a hole made by GoPro so that you can plug into it well GoPro has come out with a new and improved version for connecting to external 
power and it is absolutely amazing it is waterproof see that this is now your new door and it has contacts so let's put it on okay and you see that little it has a USB jack which is hooked up to these contacts and then you close it up like you normally would any other door and you connect this magnetic charging cable so cool totally waterproof you can submerge this camera not that I would try it but they said you can do it but check this out magnetic this is a I think it's a three foot cable and look at that you can just pull it right off that's that's amazing it can be pouring rain and I don't have to cover my cameras anymore y'all saw last week when I had to put the rain gear on them so you get this long cable with it then you get this is for if you have the Volta handle which I do but it's at home this is the adapter for the Volta handle and then you get also a short which I'll probably use that one on the chest mounted camera if I do it on that that uh, camera because I still want to run a microphone a, a lapel mic so there it is looking very forward to giving this contacto a try on my front and rear cameras all right next item all kinds of goodness this year which is this is a must it's the dual battery charger plus two batteries they kind of went back to the older style where it's a tall charger this year for the hero 12 the chargers real short and the batteries kind of sometimes they don't actually make contact and you have to wiggle them around so it looks like they've gone back to a tall battery charger comes with the charging cable two spare 1920 milliamp so we've got we've gained a couple hundred milliamps yeah this is a tall and this does charge faster than if you try to charge them within the camera it has, has charge indicator lights too that's new they don't have that on their other one so I'm gonna put these two batteries in here and I'll charge them up as soon as I get in the house I mean in the camper completely encases the batteries that's nice if you store them in here and travel you don't have to worry about them they're not falling out they stay put charging lights they're lit up all right that's item number two I'm just gonna leave the charging cable in there because I have like a million of those all over the place I love GoPro release day I got two of mine last week I've just been waiting on this third one so I could do the unboxing okay the next item another item that I've been waiting for they're a little behind the times here DJI's had theirs out for a long time it is the magnetic latch mount this is really another must and it's basically very simple wow they even put paper on that thing it's just um, what the name implies it's a magnetic latch and it is aluminum yep just like DJI only this one can go either way where's that camera so it's a very solid fit they said this will hold you could slam it with the car and it's gonna hold it uh, it can go either way and there's the other way either way so that's that's very cool 
those were handy. I mean, like I said, DJI's had those forever. And it comes with a little small low profile screw for putting it on the mount. Which I'll probably use these two. It gets the screw out of your way. You can actually torque it down if you need to, too. I'll put those use those latches when I mount them to the kayak. I might still put a lanyard on them in case I knock them into the lake like I did a few months ago. Alright, we have two more items for the GoPro. Ultra wide lens mod. I'm not sure I'll even use this, but there is a new feature with this and I, I can't remember why I bought it guys. There's a particular use for something, but oh, they give you a nice cleaning cloth too. It gives you a wider field of view on your camera. Oh, another cool thing about the Hero 13, when you put these lenses on, it automatically detects which lens you just installed, and it configures the camera exactly how you set it up. So. That's brilliant because it's a pain in the butt to go switch profiles if you swap out to a different lens. So that's another good plus. And I can't remember the reason I got this. I think it was for the Horizon lock and the ultra wide 177 degree view. The standard GoPro goes up to 155. And guess what? With my rheumatoid arthritis I can't get my lens off in order to change them so I'm gonna have to come up with some gloves or something because the first time you take that lens off it's super duper tight so it's really hard so I'll be trying to figure out how to swap that lens if nothing else I might put the super wide lens on the back camera and give you a wider field of view and last but certainly not least I got the macro lens. These interchangeable lenses are one of the reasons that I upgraded. Who knows, maybe they'll come out with some zoom lenses. They do have an anamorphic lens coming out in 2025. That's a lens that gives you a 9 by 18 super wide frame and it gives you the bokeh and the um, lens flares, all that good stuff like cinematic type stuff so I don't know that I'm gonna get an anamorphic lens kinda of be cool to have but we'll see we'll see if I have a need I'm not sure I'll even have a need for this macro but who knows who knows cute little case that it comes in it's rubber this is a big lens I guess I gotta have it installed to show y'all that little blue ring that's in there you match that up to the blue ring that's on the camera as soon as it locks in the camera knows what you've installed and it configures the camera for whatever lens you just put on but this would be good for super close-ups like if I want to shoot um, when I'm doing an unboxing I suppose I could have a macro you can get within four inches of the subject with this lens and it is manual focus so you can focus four inches and everything else will be blurry in the background this will let you focus on just whatever subject you're trying to focus on so once again I got to get my lens cap off in order to do that so that is the GoPro unboxing and I'm shooting with the Hero 13 right here this is one of my other ones and I do have to say the footage is outstanding I did it the intro on my last video was with this I ended up getting the microphone working so that it is paired and staying paired with this GoPro so we'll see if I can get it on this one maybe I'll just get it on one of them I don't know I haven't gotten it on the other one yet and I haven't tried this one so that's the new GoPro stuff and like I said I'm most excited about the contacto magnetic charging door this is going to be my most favorite accessory hands down 
I will have a couple of GoPros for sale. I do have folks that have already expressed interest and I'll give them first dibs, but I think I'm going to have two Hero 11s and two Hero 12s for sale. And I don't have the prices yet or whatever, but it'll be a good deal for whomever buys. So I'm looking forward to my first fishing trip with this little jewels. This feels heavier too, folks. Maybe because it's that aluminum latch, aluminum mount. So with that being said, I'm looking forward to my first fishing trip with the Hero 13. It won't be tomorrow, but probably if I go again, it'll be probably Friday, Friday-ish. And I'm going to work Saturday. So Friday or Sunday, we'll try to get out there and, and have the kayak rig with the Hero 13. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.